Welcome to the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Getling and Gino Franci, where you get your daily dose of real estate market updates. Talked a little bit, getting into our personal life lately a little bit, a little bit with the Burger Connoisseur, a little bit with some Copa America, just so you can get to know us a little better. Yeah, I like that. That's one of my favorite sausages. The Copa America? No? No. Dry Copa. Oh, okay. Shoot. That's okay. close. I'm trying to become Argentinian like him. So, <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to talk about something that is going to be brought up more and more in the media because the media likes to bring up hype. They get you all scared about the uh, increased foreclosures coming. Yeah. Well, I don't think so. Right. So you and I have been going out on a ledge. The first one is to go out on a ledge. So be... Yep. 100% forewarned that three months from now, somebody will be on our bad wagon. But we are of the belief that we are beginning to see the early signs of the next boom. Yeah, how about that? So let's go to this first slide because we've been mentioning over and over and over that uh, foreclosure inventory is going down. We actually have a pent-up demand. We don't have actually enough homes. And therefore, look at that. Back to October 7, for foreclosure levels, 1.1%. So can you believe that today, with real mortgages and real buyers and sellers in their homes, we don't have an artificial market, and yet we still have one of the lowest foreclosure rates ever. No doubt. And 1 million homeowners have escaped negative equity just this past year. So that's a great sign for our economy and for our housing in industry. A hundred percent. So equity is always a driver of foreclosure because when you have equity, you can sell if you get into trouble. You're not really in foreclosure, right? So because of the increase in equity we've had over the last, I can't believe I'm going to say this now, but almost 10 years yeah. since the crash, right? Nine years since the crash. Mm -hmm that we now have gotten almost everybody out of foreclosure danger because they could sell their homes with equity. There you go. All right, one more slide here to kind of re reinforce what we're talking about. So now we're talking about who's still got decent. I mean, look, at there's only three states that are above 2% uh, foreclosure rate. Yeah, New York, uh, interesting, 3.2%. Florida, now if you look at that Florida number and we continue to watch this, notice the asterisk for the judicial states, New York, Florida, and Maine, is that Maine? What is yep. that up there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Those are all judicial foreclosure states. So in all those states, it takes longer to foreclose somebody than it did in all the non-judicial foreclosure states. So typically, the judicial foreclosure states will have a higher rate for a longer time. We're about one year out from getting those back to where we have in the West Coast. There you go. And a good, good point, you know, because it takes 180 to 400 days in the ju judicial states to be able to even foreclose. Good news is, this is the 54th consecutive month with year-over-year -year decline in foreclosures. Oh, my God. So what does that mean to you? What that means to you is as foreclosures continue to decline and all that quote-unquote shadow inventory gets yeah. absorbed into the market because we have so much demand, right. the likelihood of property values going down is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, and there's this funny thing called interest rates. Those yeah. seem to be dropping, too. Yeah, so you have the perfect storm to go out and get a home. And especially now, because we're telling you, prices are going to continue to go. It's 5.6% nationally in a lot of states, a lot higher than that, especially on the West Coast. We're looking at 7.4 plus. A couple are in double digits, Don. Right, exactly. You go to Washington and Oregon, Oregon. yeah. Uh, Colorado, double digits. So get in now while the getting's good. Interest rates are low. Get some of that equity yourself. You heard right here in the National Real Estate Cafe, Don Gelli and Gino Fronti. Get these sent to your phone daily by texting NREC to the number 58885. Or you could subscribe online, go to our website, nrecafe.com. That's my preferred methodology as well.